time even, ladies and gentlemen, when we have some conversation and some conversation with the one and only, the man himself, the dapper, <laughs> the dapper. What, what's his name again? Oh, oh, it's Miguel. Is Miguel we're talking about? Good evening, Miguel. We well, haven't spoken in such a long time, you know. And you know, it, I'm so I'm I'm so elated and happy, you know, that you're here this evening. Erwin, Erwin, I have a good evening to you. You know, it's a very important issue you bring up. You know, us ball head dreads. It's a lot. We <laughs> no, no, wait, 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 wait. No, dread, dreadless, dreadless Dread dreads. Okay? Dreadless. <laughs> Not ball <bald -head. laughs> That is it. <laughs> Erwin, always a pleasure to connect. Same here, same here. Good evening to you and uh, I have a good evening to our distinguished listeners wherever in the world you're tuning in from. We thank you. My name is Miguel Anthony Melbourne. This week on Melbourne Motivation, I'm excited to have back on one of my favorite thought leaders when it comes to helping our next generation be best prepared for the future. Let me tell you a little bit more. Samantha Sinclair is founder and CEO of Pathway to Purpose. She started the company in 2016 as a means to bring innovation to education. Since then, her company has partnered with 67 schools and organizations, impacting over 15,200 students. And in 2020, Pathway to Purpose created the first of its kind college study flashcard. Her team's latest innovation is a tech forward online college and career prep academy called POD. Prep on Demand. Scholastically, Samantha earned her bachelor's in social welfare from UAlbany, her master's degree in post-secondary education at Columbia University, and is currently pursuing her PhD in higher education leadership, management, and policy at Seton Hall University. She notes her personal goal is to use her educational journey to inspire students to reach their on tap potential, and she credits her Guyanese upbringing as the driving force behind her entrepreneurial and academic successes. With that, Queen, Samantha, welcome back to Melbourne Motivation. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling great. Hello, Miguel. Hello, Erwin. Glad to be back. It's almost a year now, so this is the perfect time to chat. Absolutely. You know, Samantha, one of the reasons that I'm excited to, to catch up with you is I happen to know you're one of the few Guyanese that does not say chicken curry. Why, why is that? <laughs> I, I can't say. I'm not good. Sure. No. I, I I was hoping you didn't take the bait. I was completely <laughs> kidding. I want no problems with the guy and he's massive. Big shout out to all the guy and he's tuning in. Um, but, but on a more serious note, Samantha, I think, you know, being we're in back in full swing of school season, right? Your voice and perspective mm -hmm. is of significance, important, especially because you represent sort of two sides of the higher education table, right? One being you are someone innovating change. And at the same time, you're a student yourself, right? And so a PhD, of course, is no walk in the park. Can you just give, a, give us a glimpse into your program? How long have you been pursuing this journey? What was your motivation? And where are you now in, in that process? All right. So before I share my story, I just want to share that a PhD or a doctoral degree is the most advanced degree that you can earn in a specific industry or field. And it really just symbolizes that you've mastered that area of study. And so for me, that will be higher education, which is essentially just the study of which colleges and universities operate. Now, Miguel, less than 2% of the entire world's population pursues this degree. And I think I know why. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I know why at this point. But I um, began my PhD journey in 2016, really a month before I started Pathway to Purpose. And honestly, it's been a beautiful challenge to balance both worlds, being a CEO and a PhD student, now PhD candidate. Um, and as far as where I am, I'm currently revising my chapter one and two. So I have three more chapters to go completely done with courses. So that's really the exciting part. So now is a lot of the independent research and moving that process along. Um, throughout this entire journey, so over the past six years, I've really stayed committed to marrying the two worlds. So how can I use my research in higher education to create solutions within my business? And so I'm not, you know, developing services and products based on my best guess. These are really research-backed products and services that I'm really proud to offer the world. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm very glad that you put that perspective around, like, what is a PhD, right? And, and as you mentioned, less than 2% of people pursue a PhD. I bet if we look into the statistics and think about black and brown. But you know what I, what I actually would guess? I bet if we looked into those statistics and saw how many Caribbean folks were pursuing PhDs, mm -hmm. I bet it would be high. I bet. 
because of the way we love education, right? And so, you, you know, your representation absolutely matters. You know, thank, thank you so much for uh, giving us that insight. Uh, the other side of the table that I mentioned, Samantha, is you being able to bring innovations to thousands of students, families, educators, right, through Path with a Purpose. Um, the last time we spoke, we spoke about the college study flashcards, but you have a new innovation now. And I think yes. I, want, I want to focus there, the pod. Can you just put into perspective, right? What is the gap that exists in college and career prep that warranted the creation of the, of the pod? And, and how does this resource offer help? Indeed. So again, before I jump into the answer, I just want to put in, you know, put this into scope for everyone. So a lot of people experience and reflect on education from their own view and their own experiences. But I wanted to provide some statistics before I jump into that response. So just according to the National Center for Education Statistics, there are 49.5 million public school students in grades K through 12. Now, if we're focusing on the high school uh, portion, there are 15.2 million. So we're talking about 15.2 million people that have anywhere from one to four years to figure out what is their life after high school going to look like. The last statistic that I wanna mention is that about 19.4 million students attended college or universities across the country in fall 2020. So even in the face of many, many challenges due to COVID, um, people are still going to college in high droves. And this is the reason why I thought that education was fitting for me to study and really master um, providing people with services that would help in their journey to college. And so really the pod, the flashcards, everything that we develop is really, really research backed. And here were four gaps in college and career prep that I found. The first is that most parents are not familiar with the college prep college application process, the financial aid process. They have no idea where to begin. And honestly, most parents, that is their first question. Samantha, where do I begin? The next is that most counselors and schools are so overwhelmed with their number of students that they just can't help everyone. Um, more recently, we worked with a school that had 1,200 students per grade. So when you talk about the senior cohort, right? You talk about the senior cohort, that's 1,200 kids to get into college. That's a lot. And honestly, for some schools across the country, that's on the lower end, right? 1,200 might seem small to a school that has, you know, 15,000 high school students. The third gap is that most college and career prep assumes that students have college knowledge so that they're familiar with, you know, key terminology that's going to help them in the process. And then lastly, college prep for many students just starts way too late. So a lot of students mm -hmm. are under pressure senior True. year, the year that senioritis is developing, the year that, you know, they're transitioning and might be leaving their home and their friends for the first time, the year that, you know, they have a lot of senior activities, the year that they feel the most pressured is also the year that, you know, schools are usually giving them three months to figure it all out. And so at Path to the Purpose, we make no assumptions and we start as early as possible. So for a lot of our students, they're starting in seventh grade. You know, they're starting to think mm -hmm. about, learn about college, to discuss it, to explore, you know, their interests. And so, you know, we really just start by identifying what are the key terminologies that students and families must know in order to move the conversation forward. We also make college prep easy to follow. Um, gone are the days that you have to go to 20 plus websites just to gather some credible information. And so right. we pride ourselves in becoming a one-stop shop for everything college and career prep. And so this online course that we just developed merges the best of both worlds, right? It merges the engagement, the excitement of being in person along with the convenience of being online. So rather than, you know, a school hiring us at 5 p.m. to do a parent workshop, Parents can access these workshops at any time, whether that's lunch, commuting on the train, you know, being on a plane, wherever they are, they can gain access to this information. And so access was a key part for us. I, I, I love everything that you're explaining. I'm hoping our listeners is absolutely loving it too. And one of the reasons, Samantha, I think what the pandemic did, if nothing else, was kind of like take the cap off the lid and students understand that there isn't one way to learn. And I think as a community, parents, uh, educators, we also realize that there has to be new dynamic ways to reach and teach our students. And so it, it, it's just very exciting, very exciting to hear uh, just the innovative thinking. 
and positive ways in which we can disrupt the status quo. And so as, as we wrap up, Samantha, I think, you know, by now our, our listeners must get a sense of your dedication and your passion, right, that you have for helping our next generation. And so what I do want to ask, because I believe it's October 20th next month, it's going to be six years of Path with a Purpose. The backdrop is most small businesses fail in the first five years. And so just quickly, in your six years, what are you most proud of? What, 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 what resonates to you as to say, you know what, this has been a journey, but I really appreciate this. And then quickly as we wrap up, what, what sort of just encouragement you want to offer to similar individuals that's looking to push forward some value for the world? Absolutely. So to be honest, Miguel, I did not come from a business background. I, like many people, pursued a business out of my passion and had to learn a lot of the business along the way. So taking courses, attending retreats, just doing everything it took to really do the homework. What did I need to learn in order to have a successful business? And so what I'm most proud of, honestly, is our ability to pivot. These past two years have been not, they have not been short on any challenges, but I think just having developed a winning team, people that are dedicated to the mission, understand the value, and want to do everything for us to succeed and impact the world, um, I think that would be my biggest, biggest um, achievement thus far as a soon-to-be six-year business owner. And just motivation for anyone listening that are, you know, looking to accomplish a goal, whether you can't see the end of the tunnel or the start of the tunnel, I would say mm. do the homework. Do the homework. Learn before you jump in. There's a lot of people who have written books and, you know, created courses that provide you with all the shortcuts so you can skip some of the hurdles along the way. And so I would say key is doing the homework to ensure that you're not taking the long way to the successes that you are hoping to accomplish. Fantastic. I appreciate that. We're going to have to leave it there, right? Learn before you jump in, or at least make sure that learning is a part of the way you're going about uh, providing solutions. And so, Samantha, thank you so much. Please continue the work you're doing. You know how much right? this means to me as well. Uh, but just quickly, where do folks continue to follow? Where can they learn more? How can they purchase some of these resources? Absolutely. So you can visit our website, Pathway to Purpose, that's T-O, Purpose, NYC.com. You can also follow us on social media, on Facebook, that's Pathway to Purpose. Same for LinkedIn. On Instagram, that's Pathway to Purpose, NYC. Or now, our newest edition, My College Pod, there you can find information about our online course and this self-paced, you know, um, uh, this self-paced course that we developed to ensure that students can move forward, um, whether they're working through their schools or at home. So um, Path to Purpose NYC.com is where you can find us. Fantastic. We'll leave it there. Samantha, thank you so much for spending the latter half of your weekend uh, in this conversation. We'll talk again. Erwin. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sam. Great seeing you and good luck in your endeavors. And, and I won't go there, go there with that curry business, chicken, <laughs> uh, not chicken business, all right? But <laughs> I can just imagine. But all the best to you, my dear. <laughs> no, no, Miguel, talk to me. We need to re share with our listeners how they may remain in contact with you, sir. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, my personal and professional goals are to help the youth be best prepared for college and beyond so that we can have more Samantha Sinclairs out there. Go ahead, visit pathwaythepurposenyc.com. Use the code IRI, I R I E, for a discount when purchasing our college study flashcards. Follow Melbourne Motivation, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. But until next time, please be safe and continue to live with big energy. Erwin, next week. Indeed, my friend. All the best to you. That was Miguel Melbourne. And of course, you'll catch him here every Sunday at this time um, as he...